Hey guys, I'm Brett from Questacon and today I'm going to be showing you one of the Questacon at home documents that you can download from home. So today's experiment is going to be all about mixing colours. So you can mix all different kinds of colours, today I'm going to be using markers. So first off we're going to start with a type of colour mixing called subtractive colour mixing. So I have here a white piece of paper and a white light shining on it. White light is actually a mixture of all the other colours squeezed together to make the brightest light possible. So if I put down a colour like blue, it's actually going to absorb some of that white light. So now the white light hits this blue and it absorbs all the other colours except for blue and it bounces that blue back to our eyes. It's taking away some of those wavelengths of light. Now if I wanted to add another colour on top of this, say red. So I have my red here and it's absorbing everything except for red. When I add them together, we get hardly any light reflected back. So this is subtractive colour mixing. We're taking away the light that's bouncing off the page to our eyes. So it gets much, much darker. If you are using subtractive colour mixing, instead of red, blue and yellow, the primary colours are actually magenta, cyan and yellow. So these colours have more than one wavelength reflected. So if I put down some yellow on the page here, that yellow is absorbing all the blue, but it's actually reflecting both red and green back to our eyes. Our eyes are pretty fascinating. They can only actually detect three different wavelengths. We have red, green and blue detectors in our eyes, in the cones inside our retina. Those are the only colours that we can actually see, but combinations of these, when those cones get stimulated at different times, can create all the colours that you see around you. Our eyes don't have a detector for yellow, just red and green. So when it sees them both at the same time, it creates this image of what we see as yellow. If I add cyan to it as well, cyan is reflecting both blue and green. So we have yellow reflecting red and green and cyan reflecting blue and green. If we mix these together, so we're subtracting those colors, what do we get? Green. Both of these subtractive colour mixing primary colours are reflecting some of that green light. Now you can do the same thing with magenta, which is a mixture of blue and red wavelengths. I could add that to the cyan and get blue, or to the yellow and I will get some red. So this is called subtractive colour mixing. It's what printers use to make different colours. If you've ever had to reload the ink in your printer, you'll know that the three colours that you add are cyan, magenta and yellow. Those are the primary colours when you're taking away light. But there's a different type of colour mixing that you can do. To test additive colour mixing, you're actually going to add light onto something. I'm going to use a torch. This torch here is white light. So to make this a coloured torch, what we're going to do is just grab some sticky tape and place that over the top of the light bulbs here so that we can protect them and then add some colour. So I'm going to get some green and just colour in the top and spread out some of that ink. So this will now have a slightly green tinge to the white light but it needs to be darker. So we keep adding more and more layers until we end up with something like this. So now it's actually just letting the green light through. Now if I get two different colors, green and red, and I add them together, instead of taking away from the white light, they're going to add new colors onto the page. I'm just gonna turn off the lights and we can see how that works. So now we're going to add colours together. I have my green torch and I have my red torch. If I add them together, we actually get yellow light. So this is additive colour mixing, where you start 
start with nothing and you add a light source to it. The more lights you add, the brighter it's going to get. And the primary colors here are red, green, and blue. When you have a computer screen, it's only got a red light, a green light, and a blue light in each pixel. But by mixing these in different quantities, you can simulate the whole rainbow on a screen, just by kind of tricking our eyes. So, now we know that there are actually two ways to make each color. You can use subtractive color mixing, where you take away wavelengths with pigments, like textures. Or you can use additive color mixing, where you use a torch or another light source to add different wavelengths together. So that's additive and subtractive color mixing. If you have a torch, some markers and some paper, you could give it a go and see how many different colors you can make using additive or subtractive color mixing. Thanks for watching Questacon at Home and there's plenty more activities that you can check out on our website. Have fun and I'll see you later.